Hey, hey, what's up today? It's uh, Melanie, and um, just realized that there's a bunny. <laughs> Put new glasses on today. Um, also, I've been glinting in all the wrong places. My light source is horrible, as probably is my volume. Anyway, um, I restructured, because you know, I can't stay focused in one spot or on one thing, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, I don't know about you, but I have like nine open tabs on my Chromebook, and that's good for me. Usually I have like 16, and... Um, that is an average day for me. So, um, I'll get looking up one thing, researching one thing, and then I'll read something and it'll take me off in a totally different direction. So I'll want to research that. And then I'll read something on that page and it'll take me off and I'll go click open to Google something else. And next thing you know, I've got 16 tabs open and I totally forgot what I was doing in the beginning. Sound like you? Yes. Isn't that enough to make anyone mad? Makes me mad sometimes. Like, cuckoo crazy. Um, but what are you going to do? Like... Why bother getting frustrated or agitated or taking time in the negative headspace? Because it's what we do. It's the way our brains work. So we have to just, well, I do anyway. I bookmark things, close it down. Bookmark it, close it down. And then I know if I want to go back to it later, when I want to just focus on that one thing myself, then it's there. So, because of that, I now probably have <laughs> probably a, oh, a thousand bookmark pages. And when I get too many pages, then I open subfold, then I create subfolders, and I like have them all. So, at least they're organized where I can not get, you know drowned out by just looking at all of them, but still, I have to do that at least once a week, or it's chaos. I have to delete things I'm really not going to be interested in, because, you know, you're interested in one thing one day, and then the next day it doesn't appeal to you anymore, because your brain's gone off somewhere else. Um, so... Try and think of what's important. Like, right now. Um, I have my... I'm trying to focus on things in business that are going to generate the most revenue. I used to be a virtual assistant. And when I did that, I made pretty good money. But it was constantly, all day long, doing stuff for other people that was either boring. So I had a hard time focusing. Or... It was just not what I wanted to do. So um, I stopped doing that and then I started creating products and like digital products, books. I'm an author and an illustrator. So I started doing that, but I only like the creation process and marketing and sales. Well, marketing is what's going to get you your sales, right? So. Um, and I got no money to hire somebody for that, so, got no money, I speak English well, don't I? Um, I just finished saying I was an author, <laughs> if a grammatically incorrect sentence. Anyways, um, I digress. So, I like to create. That's one thing I can focus on for hours, but it doesn't make me any money. So I was trying to think, should I make a course and teach others how to make a children's book? Oh, and then when I 
dive down that hole. It, I get overwhelmed with how much stuff there is and all the sideways that you have to go with. And then you gotta set up a content, you gotta freaking put it on a platform, you gotta this, that, that, whatever. And then I just, I don't wanna do it anymore. So, then I started thinking, well, what can you do that you always wanna do? And that you could do anytime and all day long and besides making coloring books it's coloring so I have to figure out a way to make some money doing coloring lives talking to people maybe about life maybe about I don't know maybe I can teach without showing I don't know maybe you can give me some ideas I don't want to stop this um, YouTube channel because obviously I'm new into it and the whole idea is this is the ADHD life so you're you know you can't stay on one thing but at the same time you don't want to leave the one thing so I do plan to stay here and I really am trying to make it something that I'm gonna do um, but I have to feed my creativity so I have my um, Melanie Brimber books um, YouTube channel where I do um, flip throughs and um, I think I'm going to add coloring lives and give away some free coloring pages on that channel too. So if you want to find me on YouTube there, give me a subscribe. Um, I have a few life ones there too, but anyway, there's like 30 videos over there, whereas this one's what, the fifth one on here? Uh, so, yeah, if you go over there um, and subscribe, then you can join me for lives, and I will um, leave links for you to download a copy of um, whatever page we're going to color that day. Usually I like affirmations and um, stuff like that that I've created, either with my own characters or abstract um, designs, whatever. You'll see. And then you can tell me what we can discuss. So, it's not all frazzled like this video is today. One, it's not a five minute video anymore. And two, I probably lost a bunch of you because I'm all over the place. But, welcome to my life. And if you have ADHD, you know how it goes. So, I think I'm going to sign off now. I'm going to think on all of my income stream ideas and maybe set up a plan see how I can put them together in a funnel so people only have to go to one page that'll link off to all my other pages still gotta think on it anyway subscribe hit that like button please <laughs> even though I was like on that part today um, and come back in a few days for more of me and we can talk about more of not staying focused <laughs> um so let me know if you go check out my books too um once again that's melanie bremner books um just type that in the search bar for youtube and you should see me uh, MelanieBrumner.com is my bookshop for the digital copy, and I'm also on Amazon under Brumner Books, um, if you want a physical copy. Anyway, I'm segueing again, so I need to stop, say goodbye, so you take care, be safe, and have